Dawn O'Donnell was a penniless lesbian in 1950s Australia. She wanted money, sex and power. But of course, this was the dark ages. Everything was illegal. Homosexuality was criminalised and demonised. Dawn stormed her way through Sydney's gay underworld and built herself an empire of drag clubs, car parks, steam rooms and sex shops. She adored drag queens and many started their careers in Dawn's pubs. Hi girls. How are you? People like to see people lie. And I mean, you get a good drag queen, you get somebody that's got, a, got their hand on a microphone. I mean, they can entertain people for hours. I think Dawn always liked drag. I think she also liked drag because it made her money. Dawn's world gave me the material. And people said, oh, where did you come at? Um, with all, you know, these great ideas, all these great one lines. And it was like sitting in Dawn's pubs listening. She was a ruthless businesswoman. But did she run brothels? Did she commit arson? Did she, or didn't she, murder? She was neither a feminist nor a gay activist. But for good or bad, Dawn O'Donnell was instrumental in Sydney's transformation from a sleepy provincial city to one of the gayest cities in the world. This is her story. Well, one version at least.